Consider the scenario where all the data you require is contained within a single table. You may need to relate columns within the table to each other to extract the desired data. For example, the employees table has employee ID number for each record. It also has a supervisor ID field that displays the employee ID number of an employee's supervisor. The self join is a join that relates data in a table to itself. A table is joined to itself based upon a field or combination of fields that have duplicate data in different records. The data type of the interrelated columns must be of the same type. To design a query to display the supervisor's name for each employee, we must create a self join. To open Query Designer, in the Create tab, click on Query Design. Add the employee table twice. This assigns the same table name again followed by an underscore and one. Assign an alias to the second table. Right click on the second table and select properties to display the property sheet. In the alias property box, type in the new name, for example managers and close the property sheet. In order to design a query that will display the supervisor name for each employee, Join the Supervisor ID field and Employee ID field. Drag the Supervisor ID field from Employees table to the Employee ID in the newly named Managers table. Now add the required fields to the Query Design grid. Add Employee ID first name last name from Employees table and last name from Managers table. Change the caption of the last name fields as we have two last name fields. In the design grid, right click on the last name field from managers table and select properties. This will display the field properties dialog box where you can enter a new caption. Enter manager. Now run the query and it will return the first name and last name of the employee and the manager's last name. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.